Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share with you three ways to use coffee grounds in your garden. Coffee grounds are a great amendment to the soil. It is rich in nutrients that plants need. It helps microorganisms beneficial for plants to grow. It also helps attract earthworms. Let's talk about some basic facts about coffee grounds. I have created two charts to show you. The first chart shows the NPK value of brewed coffee grounds. It has about 2.08% of nitrogen, 0.32% of phosphorus, and 0.28% of potassium. The second chart shows the pH value for black coffee is 5, while the value for brewed coffee grounds is between 6.5 and 6.8. These tells us that Brew coffee grounds are not as acidic as people think. It is safe to use them with moderate amounts in your garden. You can get coffee grounds from Starbucks and other local coffee shops. I called several Tim Horton stores near me and found out that they don't give away coffee grounds due to the pandemic. Make sure you call first and ask them to reserve it for you. Bring a bucket with you when you go. First way to use coffee grounds is to put them in your compost bin. There are two types of compost material, brown and green. Coffee grounds are rich in nitrogen, so they are considered green material. Coffee filters are biodegradable, so you can throw them into the compost bin as well. The second way to use coffee grounds is to mix them with the soil. You can sprinkle half a centimeter of coffee grounds on the existing soil. Potassium and phosphorus from coffee grounds is readily available for the plants, but it will take some time for nitrogen to be available as it is not water soluble. The third way to use coffee grounds is to wait till the end of growing season in November and add them to the soil and turn them under before next planting season in March or April. You will see amazing results. Keep coffee grounds off the landfills and put them in your garden. You can do it. Oh, if you find this video to be helpful, please like or comment on it. Thanks for watching.